Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining us. It's been a while since I made a video, which just had a lot going on in life lately. Like, um, I had a head injury happen, but gladly I'm doing a lot more better, so now I can make videos once again. And I went to HYC, which was amazing. In fact, right now I'm going to share a few highlights from what happened at that HYC. Um, it was a very powerful move of God. The preachers truly spoke amazing words. One of the preachers talked about loneliness is how loneliness is good and how you can use that time to spend with God, which was an amazing message. And um, it really changed my life and how I can like look at I can look at things way differently now. And I know it changed a lot of my friends' life that went there. And it was a great amount of fellowship with old friends and making new friends. And um, I had a lot of good talks about God afterwards with my friends. And I got a lot of prayer requests asked for people to ask me to pray for them afterwards. Um, like, this friend was before... HYC, but she's been having a lot of seizures, so I want you guys to pray for her because I'm worried, really worried about her, and I'm really hoping God can touch her. I know God can touch her. I believe that he can touch her and heal her. And I had this friend that asked me after HYC to pray that she can get back in church, so I'd like you guys to pray for her and my other friend who's been having seizures. And also keep in mind that we are having our first P7 Club meeting really soon um if you forgot when that is our first meeting is on january 17th at fh collins in room 218 at 11:40 a.m now i'd like us to get into prayer for those people who i just talked about my friend with a seizure and um, my friend who wants to get back into church my first p7 club meeting and if anybody has any progress you can put them down in the comment section down below now let's pray for those people Jesus, I pray for my friend who has seizures right now, that you heal her heart, touch her mind, heal her to get close to you, and heal her so she can be able to do things that she used to be able to do before she had these seizures. And I pray right now for my friend who wants to get back in church, that you speak to her and tell her to get back into church and and for our first P7 Club meeting to go well and a bunch of people to show up and you mighty power to move in Jesus name I pray amen now today I th we're, we're um, going to be listening to two songs the first song is called I thank God and we're going to sing this song called holy ground now let's praise God as we listen to these songs I'd like to clap your hands to this first one Praise the Lord right now, everyone. Ring into the night. Sing a place to hide the sweet soul. Describe your bones. Now I pray before my mind. I just can't win the fight. I'm slowly drifting. Vagabond. Just when I ran out of road, I met men I didn't know. He told me that I was not alone. Pick me up, turn me around, my feet on solid ground. I think the master, think the savior. Same. I think the master, think the savior, thank God. Just praise the Lord right now, everyone. Nothing that what I've seen. Those who do believe our hearts are burning. Shoes and wind. Long to my old friends. 
watching it and then you can't just keep them moving <coughs> here down to our walls, streets of old sing it how you save my soul the word son has found his way back home he picked me up turned me around placed my feet on solid ground i thank the master the savior hear my heart change my name forever free i'm not the same i thank the master the savior i thank god 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 if you thank god just shout right now i thank god hey lost another one i am free i am free i am free hey lost another one i am free i am free I am free, I lost another one, I am free, I am free, I am free, another one, I am free, I am free, oh, lost another one, I am free, I am free, I am free, I lost another one, I am free, I am free. If you think the master share it right now. Change my name, forever free. I'm not the same. I thank the master, savior, God. If you thank God, share out right now. I thank you, God. You want to get up out of that grave charter right now? Are you guys ready for this next part? Get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, grave. Get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of the grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of the grave. Get up out of the grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of the grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of the grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of my grave. He got you out of the grave. Just shout right now. You believe he can do it for you? Just shout out! I thank God right now. You shout it out. For me, he can do it for you. The testimony of Jesus, the word of prophecy, and he did for the other. He can do it again. It means what he did for another. He can do it again. The testimony of Jesus, the word of prophecy. Spirit of prophecy, the spirit of prophecy, he did for another, and do it again. For another, do it again. Get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up out of that grave. Get up out of the grave. Get up out of the grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of the grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of the grave. Get up, get up, get up, 
get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Yeah, turn me around, place my feet on solid ground. I thank the master, I thank the savior. Hear my heart, change my name forever to me. I'm not the same. Get a master, I thank the savior, I thank God. As we're switching over into this other song, I'd like you just to continue praising the Lord right now. Just praise Him right now. Thank Him for all He's done in your life. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Just praise Him right now. As we're beginning this other song called Holy Ground, it talks about show us your glory. Asking Him to show us your glory. And as we're listening to this song and singing this song together, I'd like you to pray for God to show you his glory. He's going to see it right now.
believe you just changes everything you say right now jesus you change everything i believe that you change everything i believe things will be changed through you jesus oh jesus everything to shower right now i believe you change everything in jesus name oh hallelujah hallelujah now we are going to be switching over into going to the lesson now thank you once again i'm going to say thank you all for joining us today today we're learning about 80 percent grateful now i'll start off with our preview for today our culture suffers from a great for this we should learn to be grateful for all the good in our lives rather than Thinking all the bad in our lives, like thinking about how this is awful and how that is awful. And if you have anything you're thankful for, for it, what God did or for what anyone did in your life, I'd like you to put that down in the comment section down below. And also don't forget to put your prayer request in the comment section down below. Now we are going to start off our praise with reading Psalms 117. And I'd like you to, if you have your notebooks with you, I'd like you to put Psalms 117 in your notebooks because this is a really good verse. Praise the Lord, all ye nations. Exalt him, all ye peoples. For the great is his love toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endless forever. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to go into our parable for today. Legends say that Voldemort Plenty, an Italian Philographers and educationers noticed that 20% of pea plants in his gardens granted 80% of the health pea pods. The idea of uneven dysfunction began to form in his mind, and after research, he found that 80% of the land in Italy was owned by 20% of the people. More studies found that, as a general rule, 80% of all the results often came from 20% of the action. Plant's discovery became known as the Plant Principle. 20% of communities' customers often drank to 80% of the population. 20% of organization members often ground 80% of a company's sales. You even apply this principle on a move on more personal level. You may have a closet of shoes, purses, or sh skirts. But how often do you we how often do you wear the same thing twenty percent? It seems that the principle applies to universities with the thought in mind when we are ungrateful it could be that we are fixable on the twenty percent wrong that wrong lives instead of the eighty percent that's right. Now we're gonna read first Thessalonians five eighteen. Just give me a minute to turn to it. Okay, that's first first the third Seth sorry, tongue tied here. First Thessalonians five eighteen. <clears throat> Give thanks in all circumstances for God for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And that talks about how to rejoice and always give praise to the Lord is always you should always do it no matter if you're in school, no matter if you're at home or at work, no matter where you're at, you should praise the Lord. <clears throat> Grant shows that we are appreciated for go what God does for us rather than taking it for granted. Grant opens the door for more of God's blessing and allows us to make the most of life than waste it in away in a fog of self, se in yourself. Now we're going to read Luke 17, 11 through 19. Just give me a moment to find it again. Luke 17, 11 through 19 again. That is. 
Now on his way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he was going into a village, ten men who le had leprosy met him. They stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. One of them, when he saw he was healed, came back, praising God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, Were there not ten cleansed? What? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except the forgiver? Then he said to him, Raise Rise and go, your faith has made you well. Now, in that story, it talks about how there were ten leopards, and only one of the leopards out of the ten decided to go back and say, Thank you, God, for healing me and praising God for what he did for them. So, basically, that lesson to, that teaches us about how you should go back and thank Jesus for what he did, even if you feel like you don't want to or even if it, you could embarrass yourself by doing it because other people around you might go oh she just did that or he just did that but you should still do it no matter what now let's get back into the lesson who knows what is leprosy does anyone know who, what leprosy is if you do please put it in the comment section down below leprosy is a horrific condition where skin begins to rot and fall off before jesus came on the scene these 10 leopards were cut suddenly unclean they were qualified from the community and they were doomed to be a lonely life away from friends and family when jesus offered for healing it's no surprise that the ex-leopards were excited to go into their city to show themselves clean what is a surprise is that jesus that out of ten of them only one thought to come and thank jesus as was the case with these leopards, some things in our life happen to us, not because of any bad choices we made, but for the sole reason that we live in a fallen world. It can be easy to become bitter or fruitless, but God wants us to be thankful in this bitter world. Often we dwell so much on the innocence of our lives, the negative 20% that we forget to acknowledge the 80% that is blessed. Do you find yourself complaining about teachers or the daily school? Well, be thankful you have the access to an education. Do you feel respectful when you see so and so's Instagram worthy life? Be thankful for the access to food, electricity, and clean water and nice clothes. Annoyed at your parents? Be thankful you have them. Some people don't have parents. Observe them are times when life hands a series of painful problem and there's no one to help you with it but that doesn't mean we earn a right to complain or start a tally of all the things we don't have we're now we're going to read it, ephesians 5 20 just give me a moment to find it again that's ephesians 5 20 Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So in that it says, no matter if you're going through hard times, no matter if you're going through sickness, no matter if you're going through pain, no matter if it's good times even, you should give thanks to the Lord for all he has done. Because no matter if you're going through a hard time, he still did something good in your life earlier on. Practice gratefulness as a life skill and watch as your life becomes more fulfilling and meaningful. Why do you think nine of the leopards who were healed didn't thank Jesus? What is the one thing you always take for granted? Do you feel it's true that we often observe about 20% or 10% or 40% that's wrong rather than the 80% or the 90% or the 60% that's right? How can we learn to be grateful for all the real amazing things we have, like clean water that we often take for granted? Have you said thank you to someone today? Who should you thank for that you didn't? One person you should always thank daily is God because he does a lot for us. He does everything for us. I mean, he made this whole entire planet for us. He made us. 
and he did so much for us. Now let's uh, get in her plus and prayer. I would like all of you this week to create a plan f for showing someone that did something great for you to thank them. So make sure this week you create a plan to thank someone like maybe it's your pastor, maybe it's your sister, maybe it's your brother, maybe it's your parents, maybe it's your teacher, or maybe it's just a friend at school, whoever. Just create a plan and thank them for what they did in your life. Now let's get into prayer. And now we're getting to our last song for today. God, thank you for giving us life, breath, and healthy minds. Thank you for friends and family. Thank you for the freedoms that allow us to have this P7 Club, no matter if it's online or in person. Thank you for clean water, electricity, food, and shelter. Most of all, thank you for the most special gift you give us of salvation. We forever are grateful that we can know you personally. And thank you for this amazing life you gave us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And everyone says, amen. And this week, I would like you to memorize Psalms 117 so you can remember to be thankful to God. And make sure to join us next time to learn about so much to be thankful for also. Don't forget to join us for our first P7 Club meeting uh, in person on January 17th at FH Collins in room 218. And if you have a hard time finding that room, contact me and we can probably meet up and I can probably show you the way to that room. And here is the thing. I'm not sure if you can see it that well, but I will be posting it online sometime before it happens again. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Now let's get into our last song. This last song is called Power in the Name. Because there, if you, there is so much power in God's name. And if you believe that, shout amen right now. Now let's sing this song together and worship the Lord.
Jesus and the enemy is defeated. Is defeated. If you believe that enemy is defeated, shout out right now. Then the enemy is defeated. Is defeated. Victory is ours and the enemy is defeated. Is defeated. Victory is ours and the enemy is defeated. He's defeated. Then the enemy is defeated. He's defeated. Victory is ours and the enemy is defeated. Is defeated. Power in the name of Jesus. By faith in his name there is freedom. There's power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Power in the name of Jesus. Faith in his name there is freedom. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. 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 I just feel God's power and I feel like singing another song. He's the same God yesterday. Today and tomorrow. Just worship the Lord as we sing this last song today. Jesus, oh, Jesus. Be discouraged. When I'm discouraged, I'll remind my soul of all you've done for me. Won't be distracted in the distraction. One who is greater than the storm. Trust the one who is greater than the storm. I don't need another reason. I don't need more convincing. God who made. darkest moments this would be the truth I'm holding same God who made a way same God who's there today oh, and when I'm shaking
same God who's here today. Now we're coming to an end of this video. I'm so glad y'all joined us today. Make sure to join us next time to learn about so much to be thankful for. Hope to see y'all next time. Have a great week.